What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be discussing some leaked WWE action figure news guys. We got some leaked Elite sets and this actually is kind of old news. I was actually just kind of going through my phone and I forgot that I screenshotted these and this comes to us from Royal Grumble Pod on Instagram. They uploaded this a day before San Diego Comic-Con 2019. So this was on July 17th, I do believe, and I think Comic-Con started on the 18th, I think. I think preview night was the 17th, and then the actual day of, you know, releases and things of that nature was the 18th, I think. So, um, anyways, getting into it, guys, you will see here, they posted not only Elite 71, 72, but they also did 73 and 74, and we're going to discuss this real quick. First of all, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, Elite 71, they, they said that it was going to be Drew McIntyre, John Cena, Jeff Hardy, and Big Show, and come to find out, what did we find out that next day, or the next couple days, we found out that indeed, four of those figures were in Elite Series 71, they of course didn't have Nikki Bella or Adam Cole included in that, but they were a part of Elite Series 71, then we move on to Elite Series 72, they said that Velveteen Dream, Be Becky Lynch, and Buddy Murphy would be a part of Elite Series 72, they didn't mention Roderick Strong, Rey Mysterio, or Batista, but they did mention those other three, and what did we find out later on, that a part of Elite Series 72 was Velveteen Dream, Becky Lynch, and Buddy Murphy. So this this definitely has some credibility. You can't say, well, they this could anybody could just make a random you know post and say this. Well, in their in their caption of their photo where they posted all these elite sets, they did say that they have insider news apparently and where uh, apparently they know what Elite Series 73 and 74 are going to be and you guys can see it there on the screen what Elite 73 is going to be and according to them guys, it looks like it's going to be Triple H, Samoa Joe, Aleister Black, Elias, and Kyrie Sane. Now, if you think about it, Comic-Con, we didn't see any of these figures even in the renders. The only render we saw of Samoa Joe was in the Elite 2-pack from WrestleMania 35 with Rey Mysterio and then the only Kyrie Sane figure that we saw, well, the only other figure out of all these Elite 73 figures that we saw in a render was Kyrie Sane, obviously, that we saw that had, you know, it's one of the double-jointed knees that we're going to be getting and things of that nature. And so, we didn't see an Aleister Black, we didn't see an Elias, we didn't see a Samoa Joe outside of the Elite WrestleMania 35 2-pack with the Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, and we did not see a render of Triple H. The only Triple H Elite that we saw was the Ultimate Edition, and that's not even an Elite. So, that is just something to take note of. So, this person definitely has some credibility with their Elite 71 and 72, so I think that it's safe to say you can pretty much, I wouldn't say guarantee that 73 will be these figures, but it's a pretty good guesstimate. Uh, we don't know what the last one's going to be, so it's, you know, all in ears. I would I would guess that it would be one of those renders that we saw. You know, we saw so many renders at Comic-Con, so I'm sure it'll be one of those render figures will be the last part of Elite 73, and maybe even some of these figures won't even be in Elite 73, but that is what this person is saying, and they do have some credibility. So you definitely need to think about that. But moving on to Elite 74, guys, they say that three of the figures here are going to be Finn Balor, AJ Styles, and Andrade. Now, going back to San Diego Comic-Con, we didn't see an Andrade. We only saw the battle pack. If any, we only saw that battle pack with Zelina Vega. And then if uh, the only AJ Styles and Finn Balor that we saw was the Elite 2-pack from their match at TLC 2017 when the Demon took on AJ Styles in that wonderful matchup. And we already know what that figure looks like. We already know what, you know, their they're coming in an Elite 2-pack. We already know that that's coming out sooner than Elite Series 74, and that's not going to be Elite 74 because those figures are, you know, obviously already packed together. They're they're a part of their own thing. So these are going to be two completely different Finn Balor and AJ Styles. We know it's not the Elite 70 Finn Balor because we just got that. We know it's not going to be the Top Talents 2020 AJ Styles because we haven't even seen that, and that's part of its own series. So these are going to be two brand new Elite Finn Balor and AJ Styles figures, as well as Andrade. Who knows what figures or attires they're going to be. Your guess is as good as mine, but I hope that uh, these are going to be good. I hope they're going to be great figures. Going back to Elite 73, for Triple H, I would wonder if it was going to be like maybe his Super Showdown attire or maybe his uh, Crown Jewel attire, you know, when he teamed up with Shawn Michaels. Maybe that could be that or maybe his WrestleMania 35 attire where he took on Batista. I'm not sure what they're thinking for those. Samoa Joe, you know, he's worn basically the same attires. We've gotten every color that he's worn besides the Royal Blue, I think, when he took on AJ Styles, so maybe it'll be the royal blue attire, or maybe it'll be the pinkish red attire, I'm not sure. For Aleister Black, I would imagine that it was going to be his, you know, gray spikes attire that BEW made a custom of, you know, the, the gray attire, or whatever it is with the spikes on the kick pad. For Elias, I mean, he hasn't really changed up his attire that much. We don't even really see Elias that much. I would guess that it would probably be in, like, the skinny
skinny jeans with the dress shoes or like those boots that he wore. I don't even know what you would call those, but that's what I would guess for Elias. And then Kyrie Sane, I would guess it would be the Kyrie Sane that we saw in the render image. That would just be what makes sense to me. Um, we still have no idea what the hell Velveteen Dream is going to be for Elite Series 72. That's the only figure that we do not know what it's going to look like. You got to think Becky Lynch, we know what's going to look like. Buddy Murphy, we saw the render. Every figure in that wave, we've seen the render or we've seen a little prototype image of it, but we have never seen the Velveteen Dream. And so maybe they're working on something epic for that. Maybe they're thinking outside the box for that. I'm not sure exactly what they're thinking for that. But again, this person has credibility, guys. They they pretty much called all of Elite Series 71 and they got half of Elite Series 72. So it's something to think about when you're, you know, trying to, you know, what what are they going to... I'm so sick of that stupid-ass noise. But anyways, that is just something to think about. I wanted to put this up to you guys, let you guys know what my thinking is, what, you know, what are you thinking? Do you think this person has any credibility? Do you think these have some legitimacy to them? At least Series 73 and 74. I don't think this person, Royal Grumblepot, I don't think they posted to their Instagram in a little bit, so your guess is as good as mine. They may be a listener of this channel, and if they're a listener of this channel, I would love, if you're listening right now, Royal Grumble Pod. I would really love for you to uh, get in touch with me and let me know any other insider news that you have or any rumors going around as far as elite sets and future waves. But that is pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the news. Again, leave me down in the comment section below. Do you think these have legitimacy to them? Do you think that these Elite Series 73 and 74 are going to be legit? If they are, let me know what you know attires you're hoping they are. That's a pretty big gap, you know, as far as the Elite Series are concerned for AJ Styles. I mean, the last time we got an AJ Styles was Elite 66, I think. So that's a pretty good gap for him. We haven't had a Roman Reigns in a while. These these next four sets, no Roman Reigns, unless they plug in one. You know, the, the I wouldn't be surprised if they snuck a John Cena, Braun Strowman, or Roman Reigns into one of these sets. Um, that could be one of the figures that's missing here. But, you know, it. I, I feel like any figures that are missing here are probably going to be renders of what we saw at Comic-Con is what I would imagine because that would make the most sense. Where the hell are they going to fit all these figures that we saw at Comic-Con? There's so many that we don't know when we're getting... How we're getting them, what waves they're going to be in. So that is what I would guess. I would guess that, you know, we're going to have a hurricane plugged in and we're going to have a Christian plugged in and a viscera and a this and a that. So I'm thinking that they'll plug those in little by little into each wave. But if you think about the last few sets that we've gotten, we haven't gotten a flashback figure or a classics figure in the last few sets. It's all been current guys. Unless, I mean, you can count Big Show. Um, I'm just meaning they're not very prominent. You know, every figure set lately has been uh, mostly current guys. It's been like 80, 90% current people and then one flashback may be thrown in there. Like Elite Series 72, not a single flashback. All current guys. Uh, you can count Batista, but that's not even fair because it's not even a flashback figure. It's a current day Batista. So uh, just things to think about, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, let me know all that stuff down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.